Your tax dollar investment in the maintenance and improvement of the city's parks and trails is becoming more evident every day. Improvements to ball fields, parking lots, restrooms, and roads leading into Durham's neighborhood parks over the past few years have been made possible by a dedicated half cent for parks allocation. You're seeing here just some of the projects that have been completed. Durham Parks and Recreation updated the City Council during its recent budget work session on the improvements that have been made since 2015 because of this dedicated funding. The Half Penny for Parks and Trails program is expected to continue in the budget that the Council will vote on in June. The city is receiving more national recognition for having one of the best government vehicle fleets in the industry. The Fleet Management Department has been recognized as one of the top 50 leading fleets for 2017 by Government Fleet Magazine and the American Public Works Association. The award recognizes performance at a high level, particularly in fleet leadership, competitiveness, and efficiency. It also acknowledges departments that plan for the future and are able to overcome challenges. This is the third time Durham has won this award since 2014. Durham is honoring the winners of its 2017 Human Relations Advocacy Awards. An awards ceremony was held on May 11th to recognize individuals and organizations who have distinguished themselves by advancing and advocating for civil and human rights in Durham. Here's a look at this year's winners. Spirit House received the Carly B. Sessoms Award for making a major impact on improving human relations. The Fair Housing Project of Legal Aid received the Fair Housing Advocacy Award. City Council Member Jillian Johnson received the Human Rights and Advocacy Award, which recognizes a lawmaker who supports human rights causes and issues. And the Youth Organizing Institute received the Norris Wicker Youth Human Rights and Advocacy Award. It recognizes young people who demonstrate an understanding of and commitment to the improvement of human relations. Mayor Bill Bell and the City Hall on the Go truck recently helped to encourage some Durham students to become active members in their community through an outdoor classroom. Mayor Bell took part in the event at Holt Elementary School on May 16th. The purpose of the outdoor class is to teach fifth grade students about civic pride and government and to inspire them to become involved in their community. Students learned about this through hearing Mayor Bell's personal and professional experiences and by getting to visit the City Hall on the Go truck that was at the center of the outdoor classroom. If you would like the City Hall on the Go truck to visit your school, neighborhood, or community group, simply visit DurhamNC.gov and follow the prompts to make your request. Bull City Play Streets is coming to the Driver Street community. The event will be held on Saturday, June 17th from 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. between Taylor and Hart Streets. This is your chance to get out and get active through music, art, a kid zone, and many other activities. It also provides an opportunity to simply be with and to enjoy your community in a safe and fun environment. The event will be held rain or shine and is free and open to the public. We look forward to seeing you there.